Hello and hello again. This is Tibble Winkles, and we are back in Reveal the Deep. I have a book to read. Tom's Expedition Log. I saw Crook die. He was covered in something like tar. As I approached, he shouted at me to stay away from him. He didn't want it to get to me too. I can't find my way back to the upper decks. I don't know what to do. So what happens if I donk my head? Okay, so nothing like that happens. Okay, good. Well, my mouse was on the way. Sorry. So what's going to happen now? Okay, so the chandeliers are lit. I'm still underwater. What do I get to see? Is that Tom? There's something on the floor there. Okay, so that is just scenery. Oh wait. Some of the paintings change. Well, at least this one here changed. Well, that was interesting. So, anything here? Okay. Not by the looks of it. Okay, need to find a switch for that. And... Oh, would you look at that. Okay, seems like I need to push a block somewhere. Uh, for now, I think the block, this block is only useful for getting me up here. Ah, uh, uh, what's this? Hey, a switch. Nice. So, let's see. Okay, that switch doesn't push that. But does it mean I can... I don't think it... I don't think I can, but let's try it anyway. Okay, actually, no, before I do so, I need to... Well, it's a bit too late now, so we're just going to try to push it. While I could only assume that it was to do that... Okay, let's push it all the way to the side and see if it's needed down there. If not, I wouldn't know what else to do. Okay, well, it seems like it's gonna help me get up here. Okay, right. Okay, so that is to continue. These doors are going to open up suddenly and they're gonna give me a jump scare or something like that. Are you? The mug is stained brown with tea. How can it be? It's underwater. It's going. The, the salt water is going to wash it out. I'm confused. It should be thoroughly rinsed by now, or moldy, for that matter. Anyway. Oh. Oh. Oh, would you look at that then? So, what happens if I push this here? And it goes donk. Okay, something happens. Uh, okay. What if I... No, no, I can't do that. That box needs to return if I want to um, get down there. Oh, well, okay, let's push that box back to whence it came. Uh, a bit of a uh, slow process, this thing. And then from there, we should be able to uh, switch the um, this little passer through thing and we can go down. Let's do it. Man, this guy is so buff. Okay, let's do this. And this. And put the switch. Can I do it from underneath? Oh, yes, I can. That would have saved just a few steps, but... Yeah. Immersion. You need immersion in your life. Okay, let's go down. Kadonk. Okay, looks like this is the realms of the goopy guys. Okay, hello, is there a goop guy? Are you gonna are you gonna goopify? I wanna I wanna explore the top bits first. Are you crook? Huh, huh. Hmm. 
What's this? The radiator appears to be broken. Well, I wonder why it's broken. That's a, that, and that's also quite a modern um, radiator design. Don't think they had those sorts of radiators back then. Doop, doop. Doop, doop. Doop, doop. Uh, okay. Let's let's go down here. This seems to be closer. Maybe we'll get to see uh, some few cool stuff. Hey. The ingredients for beef. Bong in on. A scattered all. How can you tell? It's been... It's been so many years. Uh, how, however you pronounce that. I don't really know how to pronounce that. I might just Google it. Okay. Da, da. Okay. Oh. Oh. So if I, if I mess up that jump, that means I have to start all over again from the beginning. Never thought you'd uh, incorporate roguelike uh, mechanics here, uh, reveal the deep dev. Uh, uh, yep, jump, jump. Wet look trousers are in at the moment. Ah, wet look trousers are in at the moment. Well, well, guess what? They're all wet. So how can you tell if it's wet look or... Or whether it's actually wet. Oh, yeah. Never mind. Uh, it's just game logics. As long as you believe it to be, it it will to be. I am making many sense. Yes. Okay, go. Go. Well, I guess this is the only way forward. Seems like we're going into the goops. And the goops are going to attack us. Oh, dearest Alice, the boat will sink soon. The boilers are overheated and overpressurized. I am certain they will explode within minutes. And yet I refuse to die in the explosion. I keep trying to remember the moment I opened the crate. The thing inside felt alive. I can feel its warmth flooding my veins. I remember I heard a voice when I opened it. It was a language I could not understand. I do not know why I continue to write to you, despite knowing you can never reply. Your faithful husband, Isaac. Well, sometimes you need a means to uh, deal with uh, such stresses. And if stresses means that you're writing to someone that doesn't reply, so be it. It's like something to keep yourself comfortable. Oh! Well. Totally did not expect that to happen. Uh, can I? Can I just. Yeah, let's just make that. Ugh. Oh, scary, scary spikies. Oh, this is... This has become a puzzle platformer. The only issue with this is that it's at a very slow pace. Okay. Uh, is this going to be a rage compilation? I hope not. Okay, go through here. Jump. Go to here, then donk your head. Go to here, jumpity jump. Okay, can't progress. Donk head. Go, go, go. Donk head. Can I? Yes, I can. Yes. And I think this is the end of it. Oh, well, okay. We, uh,. Huh. Okay, well, we have yet to finish. Oh, uh, wait. We have finished. Okay, that's the last of it. That was pretty interesting. Although at a much slower pace than I sort of wanted it to go. We had the cargo hold again? This looks really familiar. 
Why am I jumping up here? Donk my head? Nope. No, no donk secrets. Okay. Wooden crates. And this looks like a little small resting place where... Okay, that's that's a goop wall and I can't do that. And donk my head and see if there's... No, no, there's nothing. So we shall go to the other side. Hmm. They kind of changed the pacing of this, uh... Oh, goop guy. No. Anybody from behind? No. I'm just gonna wait. Oh, nope. Haha. <laughs> well. Oh, okay. Well. Isn't this fun? Okay, go. No, please. Okay, it's gonna be goop guys behind me, right? No. Doesn't seem like it. Go, 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 go. And am I gonna drop here? Yep, I'm gonna drop here. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, yeah. No good guys behind me. Okay, I got smacks one, but I'm pretty sure there won't be any more any goop guys behind me. Oops. Oh, I got smacks again. Is there a limit to the amount of times I can get smacks? Hmm. This is going to be slightly uh, problematic. Can I jump? I can jump over it. So why don't I do just that? Okay, well, you can go. How about you? Are you going to go? Yes, thanks. How about you? There's it goes. Oh, okay, so that's why I need to... Mm. Uh, okay. okay, this is going to be a slightly problem. Slightly problem. Yes, I like English very well. Okay, well, I'm back now. Go away. Go away. Go away. Push the block. Push the block. Go away. Push the block. Push the block. Push the block. Go away. Push the block. Push the block. Push the block. Push the block. Nope. Ow. They don't have the ability to kill me. I wonder what happened, because I remember that when I went to this kitchen area, they just kind of smacked me silly and I had to uh, wake up like I uh, experienced a very bad hangover. Uh, nope. How about... No. Okay, goodbye people. It's been fun, but no. Shall I read this book? Let's donk my head to see if I can read it in a more... Nope, no I can't. Oh, let's read this. Tom's expedition log. It's all my fault. Everyone is dead because of me. I took the silver box from its hands. Then I started dreaming of a man made of light. He was coming to take it away from me. He was terrifying. He wanted me to return it to the totem. And close it away where it belongs. When I looked inside the box, I couldn't understand what I saw. It was so dark and beautiful. I felt it escaping. Oh, no. Who did it? Who did it? You released it. You released the... Uh, uh. Is that a giant leg thing? Let's have a look. Huh. Looks like there's some kind of lettering on the wall. Well, I guess I can't translate it. But what gives this place a uh, very huge... Ooh. So, uh, donk my head. Get some... Uh... Okay, so I need to find a way to get up there. Well, okay. So, in order to get up, I need to go down. Oh, jolly. Okay. They are coming soon. Get away. How about no? Okay, let's go. Okay, get up here. 
up. Ah, go up. Okay, do I need to jump over there? Come on. And then, uh, how am I going to get it? Okay, I'm, it seems like a, a job for donkers. No, donkers aren't helping. Can I make that jump? Let's see if I can. Jump! Well, who would have thought? He, he he just he just can. This is this is a guy that can. Um, let's see. So, what makes you very useful, uh, floaty block? Block of block of floats. Uh, okay. Oh well. Seems like you're gonna carry me carry me up. So we shall do just that. Okay. What is there? I cannot see any platforms. Ah, uh, this is actually getting pretty scary. Mm -mm. Well, I'm on a platform now, so... Okay. Mm. Hello, sir. Uh, would you like to... Um, discuss our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ? I'm so sorry. Oh, is that Tom? That's Tom? Is that really Tom? I don't know. I think... I think it's... Uh, I think we need to give him some... I think I know what's going to happen. But before I do this, I want to go... Uh, I want to go explore this little area here. I'm not sure if that's a to continue. Yeah, there's a lot of things around here, so I think I'll just uh, drop the box. If that's you, Tom, well, I hope you find peace, because I think this is going to do a lot of damage to you. Okay. Okay, here goes. Oh, uh, it drops onto your head. Well, uh, uh, let's let's see if you really are Tom. Tom's expedition log. I can't move. I can feel the darkness rooting me. It doesn't want to go back. I can't fix this. I'm sorry. Well, uh, Tom, I hope you found peace. That certainly wasn't something anybody wants to be responsible for, or anybody that wants to cause. Can I break that and let's see let's see where this leads. Is this going to Well let me back? I think if I go here this is going to lead me to that place full of fanciful boxes, right? Right. Um Donk my head. Okay. So something happens here and I don't really know what. Am I going to uh, solve the riddle of the curse or whatnot? I I do not know. Let's have a look. What's the uh... well? Um, hmm. I think I sort of f figured out what I go on in. Okay, let's go here. So I think all I. Let's do that again. So all I'm thinking of So what I'm thinking of doing is probably get uh, push all those things down there and it's going to do something. I don't think it has to be in any specific order though. Is there a, a, a real specific order to it? Okay, well, if it, there is... Then I would guess that it would be... This first? 
maybe. Or maybe I'm just pushing this to, uh, as, so I can use them as walkable platforms. I do not know. Hey! Wait! They just landed on that thing. Okay, well. Uh, I, I don't know. How would they be able to know that? Okay, I'm sure, I'm sure that... Uh, I don't know. This this will have to do something. Let's just keep pushing these things. And it's going to do something, I guess. Hopefully. Maybe. Or it's just going to... Yeah, it's just going to. Uh. Okay, so that's wrong. Okay, so that is wrong. That is in the wrong order. So I think I'm. What I'm going to do is I'm going to the far left, and maybe that's going to show me where I should be putting all my. Wait a sec. I saw a lit up bit. Oh no, that's where that's where Tom was last. Tom was last seen. Yeah, poor guy. There must be some sort of uh, watch my colons here. They're gonna tell me what to do. There has to be. Okay, let's go up here. Go, go. Okay, so I'm, I'm goad. Okay, no. Oh, spiky bits. Uh, how I love you. <sighs> spiky bits. No spiky bits. Do not want... Oh, what's this? Huh? Huh. It did something. Well, I pushed it twice. So that was off, then on. No, no, no. It was on, then I'd put it on, on, and it's off. So this would push it back to on. Okay. Okay. Uh, hopefully that was correct. Okay, I squished this little glass goopy thing, and it's going to do that. And I'm... I'm back here. Well. Well, um... Fancy that. This is the beginning, right? Is this the beginning? I can't tell. I, I don't I don't quite remember. The radiator appears to be broken. Yeah, that is the beginning. Okay, so I'm just going to head back. I mean, this this the game itself is pretty linear, so I don't think there's much of a need to have these sort of ways to go back. While I push the switch, so it's bound to do something. Okay, go up. Oh. Oh, okay, that was a really quick way of getting around. Oh, that opened it. Oh, yes. Tom's expedition log. Krug said this piece of the totem represents mind. More like, looks more like suffering to me. According to him, mind is always above body. This shield means strength. Krug says strength is below soul. Okay, well. Doop, doop. Doop, doop, doop. So, so let's just draw this. I might even take a picture of this. Okay, George, almost twenty four seven with all, all your thumbnails, but your your pencil sketchings is so crap. Okay, strength, str, and it's more than soul. So, first of all, I need to figure out which one is soul and which one is body. But I think I have an idea, so let's just just go. Thank you, Tom. 
So is there anything here that I can read? Hello. Oh, that is such a creepy portrait. Will Donkin give me... No, nope, Donkin will not reveal anything to me, so let's just look at this. This part of the totem represents soul. It reminds me a bit of the Chinese yin yang. Crook said, soul is above mind. The hands represent body. According to Crook, body is above strength. He said I could hold on to the silver box for now. Okay, so let's see. Uh, in the middle. Why am I doing this? I'm doing a let's play, not a let's draw. Okay, that's body. Yeah, and that is above strength. So, mind is above. And then I go down here, drop here. That was Tom's final resting place. I'm not sure if he's. Uh, let's. I'd like to think that he's resting now. Okay. Well, body. What's body? Body is the. No, no. The head is the mind. So the body is the hands. So you need the body. Where are these these hands? So I'll go. Got donk. And then there's the mind. Mind above the body. And then which one's the soul? Soul is the moon. Okay, good. Okay, I'm, I'm just double checking. I'm just referring to the sheet I've just drawn. So we've got this facey thing, and we've got the moon. I like the moon because it's close to us. Oh, what, what's here? The wood is starting to green with algae. Um, hmm. Can I do this? Can I? No, no, it doesn't seem like I can. Well, I'll just push this and get to the other side. Wait a sec, is that the... Uh... Wait a sec, that is strength. Strength is above soul. I can't push this yet. Jump. Soul. Push the moon. Gotta push the moon. Incoming soul. Soul. Get your soul. Get your soul. We Donk. And then, the final thing, which is strength. Strength over soul? Well, maybe strength off soul, but who knows. And should this complete the totem? Well, it's done something. Shall I just stand on it? Uh... So was that correct? I I I don't know. Okay then. Hopefully this is going to do the trick. If not, I really do not know what to do else. Come on. Jump doesn't work. So do I need to stand on it? Oh. Okay. Lazy Monday Games Art and Story
by Andrew Baxter. Coding and sounding by... Is that M? Mitchell Baxter? Okay. I'll just... It does look like an M. Yes. Because the one above it is an A. And that would have been a, a sort of flat looking A. But the A is already there. So, yep. That's Mitchell Baxter. Any more credits? Oh. So that is literally it. So I completed... So I completed the totem, and I guess that sort of balanced out the curse or something like that. But I'm not very sure. I It, it just sort of... Well, I, I am out of the boat, that's for sure. And I guess I can go back home safe and sound. And I guess Tom can have his rest, have his peace. We don't really know what's going to happen with with Isaac, or we don't really know what happened to Isaac. We can just assume that Isaac might have just went down with the ship. We know that Croc and Elizabeth are probably one of the goopy guys that has been slapping our butts. But yeah, and the mouse the mouse was on the way, wasn't it? Well, that's the end of Reveal the Deep. It has been a very interesting game, especially with uh, the uh, light mechanics donking your head to reveal a different uh, sort of ghostly variation of the, of the map. That was pretty cool and uh, the floating cubes, the glowy cubes that w have warded away those um, goop guys, that was that was pretty fun. Um, would like to see a, a bit more of those because that was quite fun and well yeah that's revealed it deep. Really fun, short story. I wouldn't say much of a horror. There was horror aspects. Definitely when I first saw, when I encountered, well, sort of interacted with the first group guy, he just sort of pushed me back and I was a really good jump scare. Like that one. And I think that's everything I have to say about this game. Well, thank you very much for watching. If I did a good job, give us a thumbs up. Any thoughts, please leave them in the comment section down below. And I hope to see you in our next adventure. Bye-bye.